Nagorno-Karabakh, an ethnically Armenian region, declared independence from Azerbaijan in 1991, leading to a full-scale war that lasted until 1994. Since the ceasefire agreement, the region has remained de facto under the control of ethnic Armenian forces, while Azerbaijan has sought to regain control over its internationally recognized territory. Escalation and Military Operations The 2020 Nagorno-Karabakh war erupted in September with a rapid escalation of hostilities between Armenian and Azerbaijani forces. The conflict saw heavy artillery fire, aerial bombardments, and the use of armed drones, resulting in significant casualties on both sides and the displacement of thousands of civilians. The cities and towns in the conflict zone endured substantial damage, exacerbating the humanitarian crisis. Role of external actors The Nagorno-Karabakh conflict has attracted the attention and involvement of external actors. Armenia has historical and cultural ties with Nagorno-Karabakh and has provided support to the ethnic Armenian forces. Azerbaijan, on the other hand, has received backing from Turkey, which has geopolitical interests in the region. The presence of external actors has added complexity and intensity to the conflict. Ceasefire and ongoing challenges in November 2020, a ceasefire agreement brokered by Russia was reached, halting the active hostilities. The agreement included provisions for the deployment of Russian peacekeeping forces to the region and stipulated the return of some territories to Azerbaijan. However, challenges persist in implementing and maintaining the ceasefire, with occasional reports of border incidents and violations by both sides humanitarian consequences and displaced populations. The Nagorno-Karabakh war resulted in significant humanitarian consequences. Both Armenian and Azerbaijani civilians suffered from the conflict, with casualties and injuries reported among non-combatants. The displacement of populations, destruction of homes and infrastructure, and the presence of landmines have created complex challenges for the affected communities, hindering their return and recovery. Prospects for Peace and Reconciliation the resolution of the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict remains a daunting task. Long-lasting peace and reconciliation will require sustained diplomatic efforts, dialogue, and compromises from both Armenia and Azerbaijan. Addressing the underlying grievances, ensuring the safe return of displaced populations, and implementing confidence-building measures will be crucial in building a foundation for lasting peace. International Engagement and Mediation the international community, including the OSCE Minsk Group co-chaired by France, Russia, and the United States, has been involved in mediating the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict for decades. The efforts of mediators and regional stakeholders are vital in creating conditions for peaceful negotiations and fostering a climate of trust between the parties involved. Conclusion The Nagorno-Karabakh War in 2020 reignited a protracted conflict with deep historical, ethnic, and geopolitical dimensions. While the ceasefire agreement brought a temporary halt to active hostilities, the situation remains fragile, with challenges in implementing a lasting peace, addressing the humanitarian needs, facilitating the return of displaced populations, and engaging in meaningful, 